everyone, Carolina Venom here. Uh, today I am uh, doing a review of the Virgin Mobile ZTE All. I know in my previous video I said I was going to do a comparison between this and another phone, but I decided to do them separately because it's more easier to me doing it with uh, just one hand. Uh, this is a really nice phone. Um, if you can deal with a Sprint service or Sprint towers, uh, if you live in a good Sprint area, uh, you know, you just not a really bad phone. Yeah, the phone itself is really about perfect. I've never had any issues, any problems with the phone. The phone is very speedy, very fast, has really no lag in it whatsoever. Um, screen is pretty nice and crisp, and you know, it's just. It's got a really nice screen on it. I believe that the screen is uh, 800 by 400. Uh, screen is 4 inches. Um, it's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. I think it's a Snapdragon S2 processor. Um, it's got 4 gigs of internal memory with 2 gigs available to user and 1 gigabyte of RAM. Um, it's got Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Uh, it's got five home screens. Very smooth, by the way. Uh, we'll go around. We'll go around the phone here and tell you a little bit, a little bit about it. On the side here, you have your dedicated camera key, which is always a nice feature to have on a phone. On top, you got your power button. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the left, you got your volume rocker up and down and your micro USB charging port. On the bottom, you have nothing. On the back, you have your camera, uh, which is 5 megapixel um, and records in 720 and your flash. And down here is your speaker. And the battery is remo removable, but I don't feel like taking the back of it off to show you. So. I'm just going to leave it um, on. I've got a front facing camera. Uh, it does record in 720 with front facing camera. So that's kind of different. But you know it does pretty good too. Um, I'm going to do a couple tests on it. Like I said I'm, in, I'm way down in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually not even supposed to have Sprint service. Um or Virgin Mobile service, you know, I Sprint because it's Sprint Towers. Uh, but I am able to pull some service and hold a phone call uh, with this phone. It does have pretty strong reception. Not really had any drop calls. Uh, I normally use my Bluetooth headset when I'm at home because of the service is so low and everything. I'm gonna actually run a speed test right now. It probably won't register because it didn't do it. it. It did not do it earlier today. Um, like I said, it's very very fast. It's very smooth. Uh, it, like I said, it virtually has no lag whatsoever. I mean, it's just very smooth. I mean, it's one of the smoothest Androids I've actually used. Uh, yeah, it's not as nice probably as some of the, you know, upscale really nice really nice um, uh, cell phones but let's just try to see if we can get a speed test done tonight uh, earlier today it would not do it and it still may not do it I don't know if it does it's going to be very very bad So as you see right now, it's going to be about 10 or 0.10 megabits per second download, um, which is really bad. But like I said, I'm in, I am, I'm really not even in. I'm in actually a no coverage area, so anything I get is, you know, better than nothing. Probably going to hang up here on the upload because. It probably ain't pushing, but yeah, yeah, 0 0.2, 0 0.02 megabytes or megabits per second upload. 
um, whenever I'm in town uh, where 3G service is really strong with Sprint, I can pull between one and a quarter to one and a half megabits per second download and between point fifty point sixty upload. So not the best in the world. At least there are 4G phones out there that you can buy. And, um, you know, if you live in a 4G LTE area or in a 4G WiMAX area, you know, you're going to have better speeds. But even 4G ain't the best in the world. But LTE does do good. And I know that there are LTE phones available with Virgin Mobile. But this one right here was a good price. Um, I like the way it feels. It's got a good feel to it. Battery life is decent. <clears throat> on this phone call quality is also good um i have no issues uh texting is really easy on this phone um it's got it's got really good auto correction um uh let's go into the camera for just a second i'm going to go into some of the features of the camera you got your self timer which you have three five and ten second have your burst selector off or on your uh, int interval mode uh, 30 seconds 6 pictures 60, 60 seconds 12 pictures and 90 seconds 18 pictures uh, you got your face mode which is blink detection face detection smile detection and red eye re reduction uh, your image setting which pretty much does your exposure and all that good stuff white balance, ISO, your geotag and your shutter tones, uh, composition lines, picture size, it is a 5 megapixel camera, um, auto review, picture quality is uh, super fine, fine and normal, anti-banding, storage location and restore defaults. Uh, it also has a normal micro mode HDR and panorama shot. Here is your filters. You have no filter, mono, sepia, negative, solarize, posterize, aqua, emboss, sketch, neon, chalk, uh, and marker. Also, here is your button for your front facing camera. We'll switch over to camcorder. Go into the menu settings here video quality. We have 720p, 480p, VGA, and MMS video. We have a time lapse feature, which is really nice. You got one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, five, and ten second time lapses. This is really, really cool. I like using that. Your uh, white balance, geotagging, store location, and restore defaults. That's pretty much about it. I also got a flash where you can also um, record with a light on. If I can find a button there it is. So camera is pretty nice on this phone. Um, it's not bad at all. It takes pretty good pictures. Ain't the best in the world. I've had a, several ZTE phones and never really been too crazy about the camera. Uh, the camcorder on this camera. Uh, the camcorder on this phone. Uh, the front facing camcorder is pretty good because they don't got autofocus or anything. But whenever you're recording video, it has a really bad tendency to uh want to kind of it don't want to uh stay steady it wants to kind of focus in and out in and out in and out and it's never really clear um and you can't turn that off it's like it goes out of focus too much so it's kind of aggravating i'm not really crazy about the camcorder quality but I, I do like the front facing camera on this uh on this phone um like I said, screen looks really nice. Um, really kind of hard, hard to tell on my cell phone. I mean, with the camera that I'm using right now. I'm going to run a benchmark test on this. Uh, I, got, I actually got a signal booster. Really don't work. It might work for like a second. And it might give you maybe just a tad bit better service. But it really ain't the, worth the, the, the download. So let's go in here and find speed test wherever it may be. No, I mean the quadrant here. Benchmark test. 
wherever it may be. There, here it is. Okay. We'll go ahead and run a full pinch mark. This camera, uh, this phone does have good battery life. It will last you pretty much the whole day with moderate usage. You know, texting, playing, app, you know, using apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. It does last a pretty good while. I say about a day, maybe day and a half, depending on how much you use it. Um, this has got a really nice screen on it. Um, really nice color. Uh, I'm very impressed with the color of it. It ain't the best in the world, but for the price range, for being prepaid, and I'm very against contracts, so I always stay with prepaid because that way I can always leave the carrier if I'm not fine, satisfied with the carrier and go with somebody else without having any attachments like contracts. So uh, I always say say no to contracts because I don't like them. Waste of money in my opinion and prepaid is, is better in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and check the benchmark here. Might take it a minute because like I said my device is running 4800 and 4810. Uh, I ran this earlier and it's about a hundred less than it was earlier it was running 4900 so it does kind of move around a little bit but still 4800 is not bad at all um, I'm satisfied with that speed uh, it does run very well um, has really no problems at all um, if you want to if you want if, you, if you're in a good sprint network you want a really good phone I would highly highly recommend the ZTE all. Uh, I've always heard stay away from ZTE phones are no good but personally this is a really nice phone. It's very smooth, very fast it, it's, I mean it's just really nice. Um, I'm not sure if it'll get any more um, upgrades to Android like 4.2 I'm unaware of that um, so I can't really comment on that but I know it does have 4.1.2 so it is a pretty good updated Android system. It's just not, you know, 4.2 or 4.4. But like I say, this phone here they cost around anywhere between 80 and 100 dollars, uh, depends on where you get it at. And honestly, I, I've really not had a smoother cell phone than this one right here. I've actually played with a Samsung Galaxy S3. And honestly, this thing right here is just as smooth, if not smoother. And that's just really my personal opinion. Um, of course, the S3 is a better phone in general because of the bigger screen, better processor. But honestly, I mean, this thing is just very smooth. And there is really no lag at all. Camera is decent, autofocus. Uh, the only cons I have with this phone is one, it's, just, it's, a, it, it's on a Sprint network. Uh, if this was on the Verizon network or, you know, AT&T network or something like that, it would be really nice. But, you know, being on Sprint, you know, coverage is kind of scarce, you know, in places. And, you know, other than that, I really can't find any problems with this phone. It works flawlessly. There is no issues that I have found with this phone. So, anyway, I, I'm really kind of done with this review. If you got any questions, any comments... Uh, please feel free to leave them below. Um, that way, uh, I might can answer more questions if you have any. Um, so, uh, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. This is the review of the ZTE All from Virgin Mobile. Y'all have a good one. We'll talk at you later.